Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor. Today, I just have a little update to my Chia. I believe I, the last time I actually checked, I have maybe a total of 625 plots right now. I'm still farming. I'm not part of any pools. But today, I do want to show you this little piece of hardware that I picked up. I thought it was pretty cool. I picked it up on New Egg. Uh, it is out of stock unfortunately now but i will link all the details of it in the description below it's just a hard drive caddy that's pretty interesting stay with me on this one So just a couple updates. If you're interested in Bitcoins, I'm sending them out in pairs, guys. So it's a lot of money. You can find my contact in my about page on my YouTube. I have my Instagram, Reddit, and Facebook. Just email me. I will definitely get those out to you. For the bunch of guys who are in the United States that have already reached out to me, that shipment is on the way. I know some of you guys have responded back and saying that you've got it. Awesome. Just what I want to hear. At least you're getting something out of all this. Today, I'm talking about this 5-bay SATA hard drive duplicate. It says a duplicator, but it does say also the option to just show up each five drives independently. So each drive will have a drive letter. So why did I get this opposed to an enclosed or just used right out of the box, the USB ones? Well, if I use this, it's actually one power supply that controls all five hard drive and one USB connection. So that reduces the clutter of me having to plug in each of the five external drives into a power strip. If you happen to have no more slots, not enough space in your rig to put in additional internal drives, then this will maybe be an option too. So the price I paid for this was $132.99. Got it pretty fairly quickly, although even though it was coming from overseas. So I am gonna open this up right now. I will do a uh, unboxing. This will be my first unboxing on this channel. How exciting is that? Am I the only one around here who gives a shit about the rules? So this is not gonna be a traditional unboxing because I'm not really set up for that. I'm just gonna try and do my best, show you what this actually looks like. I don't think it's anything special, but you know, it will be interesting to see how all this plays out. So this is the USB cable that we're gonna connect to it. All right, and this is the power adapter. This thing is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> And of course, there's some documentation in here. Most likely, I will not even bother looking at that, only because it shouldn't be that difficult. Not, not that I expect a hard drive caddy to be. So this is what it looks like in the flesh. A piece of plastic, nicely wrapped for $132.99, okay? Get all this off. Oh, look at that. How nice is that? I mean, this thing feels really, I mean, it's light. You know, if you drop it, this thing kind of feels like it can crack, to be honest with you. Try not to do that. So we'll open up all this. And of course, once I get this all plugged in and situated, I will also film on the machine to show how these drives connect. Here is the USB connector. It is a USB 3. They also have a little switch back here I don't know if you guys can see that. It says there's a start button here, and then there's, this is the power button because it has that power button logo. And obviously the other plug is for the, the power. All right, so we're gonna plug all that in. That's that. And now I'm gonna take it out of this unboxing video and start bringing us into the machine. All right, before I bring you guys onto the machine, I'm actually gonna be sliding these hard drives. Now the enclosure of this particular five bay, I purposely chose not to have it enclosed. I'm actually gonna just, it's gonna be sitting on the outside. So I just wanted it to be very exposed and you just start sliding in the hard drive. I do currently at this time, one, two, three, four, five, six. I still have six, eight terabyte drives that are, that are empty right now that I have not utilized because I was waiting for the pool. I did say to myself that I will no longer buy any additional hard drives. Of course, now you see me buying this hard drive caddy. The reason why I bought it and I explained that is really just to reduce the clutter and free up some of the space that I have. My rig has no more room for placing internal hard drives anymore. So we're out of luck on that. So I do wanna show you guys that I am shucking one of these Best Buy hard drives, this easy store, eight terabyte. I'm gonna be also adding it into this five bay. So right now I have one, two, a one internal Seagate eight terabyte Barracuda drive. All right. So I shucked out the hard drive. I have three hard drives sitting in here right now. So right now, this is my current configuration in my Windows 10 machine. This is my harvester that I have these current drives. So what I'm going to do now is just power up the five bay caddy. 
I could hear all the drive spinning up as soon as I hear the power button. Infamous USB chime kicks in. That means it senses it. So right now you can see I have zero disk zero to disk four. We will wait a little longer to see how much more will populate here. And there you have it. I did not install any additional drivers. These are disk five, six, and seven that, that populated and obviously is demonstrating that it's sensing all these new drives. I did pre-format them before this recording so that way I didn't I went through the initializing and formatting phase of it. So that was it guys. It was pretty straightforward. I'll show you a quick screenshot of what I actually purchased. It's here on New Egg. It, it is out of stock. I will link it in my description maybe once it comes back in stock you guys may be interested. You know not too bad. I mean you didn't have to install additional drivers for it. This is what it looks like. I did put in three out of the five. I am going to plug in all five to make sure that I can actually access all five without any issues, even though one of them does say source. But the way I see it is, it's just another USB connection. It shouldn't really matter. I will leave it at that. I wanna thank you guys for being here. Always appreciate you guys. Remember to please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification if you can, because it helps me, and I would definitely put out more content. Thank you.